Hi, my name's Greg. I'm the co-owner with my wife Nancy of Kachina Vineyards. Uh, Nancy and I have been making wine in Dry Creek for about 14 years. Uh, Kachina, the name Kachina with a K, K-A-C-H-I-N-A, -A, comes from the Hopi Indian culture. Uh, it means God of good harvest and prosperity. Now the Hopis have a lot of different gods that mean and stand for a lot of different things, but we felt that good harvest and prosperity was very fitting when we got into the wine business because it's something that we wanted to achieve and it really related to what we were going to do around here at the winery. Uh, we're in Dry Creek Valley off the Dry Creek Road. We're very small. We do anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500 cases a year. Uh, not a lot of wine and out of that 1,000 to 1,500 cases we're doing small lots. We do a Russian River Valley Chardonnay. We do a Dry Creek Valley Cabernet which is a little bit unique because we blend in about 5% Syrah into our cabs. We also do a Dry Creek Valley Zinfandel Port, which is a traditional port. We also do uh, a Charbonneau in limited uh, quantities, if you will. We only do about 200 cases a year. So all of those wines somewhere, somehow make up 1,000 to 1,500 cases depending on the given year and the harvest. And of course, as you know, every harvest is a little different. So we make a little bit less or a little bit more of one of the varietals. Uh, and usually anywhere from 200 to 300 cases of each varietal. You'll find Cabernet on the shelves at Total Wine uh, as well as our Chardonnay. The Cabernet is 95% Cab and 5% Syrah. Our Cab is also aged for three years, which is a little bit unique. Most people don't age wines for three years anymore. Uh, more of an old world way of doing things. We age in 70% New French and 30% American Oak. You can age our wines 10 to 15 years, but it also helps to complement if you're going to have it with your favorite meat dish. Uh, we also recommend the cab to be um, had with salmon or tuna. And people kind of look at me and go, why would you have a Cabernet with fish? Because if you think about it, both salmon and tuna are red meats. They have fat veins in them, and that fat complements the uh, tannin and the structure of the cab really, really well. Our Chardonnay is a little bit unique also. It's more of a French style. It has been aged in 100% French oak, 70% new, and 30% neutral for about 14 months. Um, we basically bring the fruit in early in the morning, about 6 o'clock, we pick it at night, and then we do, do a whole cluster press for the Chardonnay and then ferment in stainless steel tanks. But as soon as fermentation is done, that fruit, which is now wine, is, goes directly into the barrels. We actually leave a little bit of the lees in, not leaves, <laughs> lees. We leave, we leave some of those leaves in and we put it back in the barrel and then roughly every 10 to 15 days we put a stirrer down in the barrel and we stir those leaves back up into the wine. It's a lot of labor but we're only doing 150 to 200 cases of Chardonnay a year. Uh, it's worth it. One of the unique things about Kachina is that we're actually off-grid. Now people always kind of look at me when I say that and they go, well, what do you mean off-grid? Well, the entire winery is run off of solar power. So we, we harness the sun, we create energy, we store it in batteries, and that is our only source of power except for a backup generator. The only time we need to use our backup generator is when we need to run the chiller. And the chiller is a glycol system that actually helps us cold stabilize the Chardonnay before we bottle because we bring the temperature down to about 28 degrees and it uses a lot of power. So we're totally self-sufficient um, on our own out here at Kachina. Uh, along with being a green winery and running off of solar, of course we also have our Spanish goats outside. Uh, we're the only facility in California that is breeding Spanish meat goats. And um, along with that, as part of our whole little deal going on here to try to stay green and to help, uh, help Mother Earth we also try to cool the winery through natural convection and one of the uniquenesses we've got here is we've got some doors over here that we open up at night. You know in Sonoma we're known for our nice warm days and then in the evening it goes down to even in the summer 45, 50 degrees. That cool air comes through these doors we open up It then pushes out the hot air. We have fans that go on that again are operating off of solar if they need to go on and we use the convection of that cold air to come through and cool down the winery every evening.